I'm going to pit four different AIs against each other to see which one can create Minecraft from scratch. Or at least a simple version of Minecraft. I'll be using MGX, which is a multi-agent AI platform that acts like a full software team, from a team leader to an engineer, to help you build whatever you want. I'll be using race mode on MGX, which lets multiple AI agents code in parallel to deliver optimal production-ready outputs. So instead of hoping the AI gets it right, you get to choose the best option from multiple solutions. Thanks to MGX for sponsoring this video. So here it is, MGX.dev. And we can connect to the super base. We can use team mode, which makes it so you have a whole team of AIs working for you in different roles, or engineer mode. And then what we're gonna use is race mode. Now, I don't know if you saw, when I turned on race mode, uh, it goes from being able to choose which model you wanna do to auto. Because in race mode, it's going to let multiple AI agents code in parallel to deliver optimal production-ready outputs. So instead of hoping the AI agent gets it right, you get to choose the best option from multiple solutions. So here's my prompt. Create a simple three-world game with destructible blocks and buildings similar to Minecraft. Now we could already also make slides or do deep research, but let's see race mode. Okay, so now we have Quinn 3 over here, we have GPT-5, we have Claude Sonnet 4, and we have DeepSeek Chat. And you can see with each model, we can see what it's doing on the left side, and we, on, on the right side, we can see what the output is. So let's just watch this and see what happens. So far, we see Claude Sonnet 4 running code, starting with the code quickest. And let's see, Quinn 3 is installing 3JS because each model has access to a virtual machine with a terminal and code that it can write. So you can see each model is going about it a different way. And the cool thing about it is we'll be able to see uh, once it's finished, which way we like most. Let's check in again. We have Cloud Setup 4 already finished and ready to try out the game. And we have the other one still working. Oh, Deep Seek Chat seems to be finished too. Let's wait till they're all finished and then we'll test them out to see which one we like best. Okay, I think they're all finished. We have, it says everything finished for Quinn 3 and everything finished for Claude Sonnet and yep, everything finished for GPT-5 and everything finished for Deep Seek, Deep Seek Chat. Racing completed. So let's try it out. Okay, first Quinn 3. And it looks like we're getting some errors here. It's having trouble fixing the errors. Okay, well, let's move on to Claude for Claude Sonnet. Oh, and I can make this bigger here. And let's start the game. Okay, I can move around. I'm mining the tree. Nice. And let's see if I can... I'm, I have grass selected. Oh, I can switch between grass dirt, stone, wood, I'm mining, and I can add, oh, now I'm adding wood here. This is nice. It makes, sometimes I get crooked or sideways, so, so I'm not really all, always facing the right direction. The controls, it's kind of hard to move, but I'm pretty sure we could get that fixed easily if we just told the model, but I'm able to add things, so this is pretty nice here. I can mine, I can add. Okay, well, let's try the next one. Oh, and I actually wasn't even using all the controls, space and shift. Actually, let me try with space and shift now too. Okay, now I can go down and I'm closer to the land. And then let's try GPT-5. Okay, and it has a click to lock mouse, move, space up. Oh, they all have space up and shift down. But I do like that when I move around, my body doesn't turn sideways. So honestly, I think I like this one a little better, even though I can't see where I'm clicking. Okay, let's try Deep Seek Chat. Uh, looks like we're getting some errors here and it's not fixing them. Okay, well, this is awesome actually, because I can see three diff four different ways and I'm sure we could go in and fix these errors with Quinn 3 and Deep Seek Chat, but 
it's nice that we get a one shot with GPT-5 with a lot of the features that we need that we want. So I like GPT-5 the best. So I'm just going to click here and say I'm loving this one. And this will clear all the other selections, so confirm. Okay, now we get it full screen with GPT-5. So this is honestly awesome. I've used a lot of AI tool builders and usually they're just doing like one at a time. So almost never do I get something this good on my first try. I have to go back and forth a bunch, but since it's doing four, it's trying four at once, it's much more likely that at least one of them is gonna be close to what you want. So this, Honestly, I really like that. I really like having four at once and getting to choose the best one because sometimes I don't always know which model is best for which use case. Uh, and I could try each model one at a time, but that's time consuming. So to have all of them go at once is pretty awesome. Okay, now we could keep making some changes in the chat, but I'm just going to publish our application. And now we have a URL and I can open up the URL in the new tab, and now our game that we create with just a single prompt is now live on the internet that we can share this with anybody. Let's see if we can add some stone here. Nice. So this is a pretty good AI app builder. I love how you can have four different ones going at once and choose the thing that you like best. There you have it. Uh, race mode is something I haven't seen on other AI website builders, and I really like it. Uh, MGX has a bunch of other great features too, so check it out in the link in the description. And thanks for watching.